Hey guys, well Starbursts here, and welcome to another Voxel Sniper mini tutorial. Today we're going to cover the use of the Copy Pasta Brush, which eliminates the need for World Edit's Cuboid Copy and Paste feature. We will also be using the Set Brush, which has the same effect as World Edit's Set feature. The command to activate the Copy Pasta Brush is slash BCP. If you would like to rotate the area that you will select, you'll have to put a number of degrees that you want it to be rotated clockwise at the end of the command. For example, I want to rotate my tree by 90 degrees clockwise, so I'll type slash BCP90. You can choose to rotate your selection by 90, 180, or 270 degrees. Now, to select what you want to, click on two points with the arrow. The brush will create a cube that touches both points you selected, and the volume of that cube will be the area that you copy. Here, I illustrate this effect with the World Edit GUI. To clear the two points that you set with the arrow, just click a third time with the arrow. To copy the selection, right-click anywhere with the gunpowder. When you right-click with the gunpowder again, the selection will be pasted relative to your first selection point. In this case, I selected the glass block on the ground first, so it will paste at ground level. If I were to have chosen the top keyboard first, then my selection would be embedded in the ground. You can also toggle the copying of air on and off with the slash BCP air command. Now let's move on to the set brush. The set brush is very quick and easy to use. Just type slash B set and select a voxel type that you want to use with the slash V item ID command that we're all used to. After that, just select two points. In the same way that the copy pasta brush will create a box that includes the two points that you selected, the set brush will fill that area with the given block type. In my example, I filled it with stone. And that will be all for this small tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. 